Are you sick and tired of using the fill command? Well, I finally have the solution. The concept of the fill command is pretty simple. You just do forward slash fill, you put in your three coordinates, or your two coordinates, like so, you type in what block you want, and you pick the damage value and you have to replace what kind of block you want. What if you didn't have to do any of that? What if you could just do whatever you want straight away? So let's just grab our materials and let's replace, I don't know, stone. So we go block to replace and it's going to be stone. We can just place that down right there. And then maybe let's replace stone with this acacia wood. So let's go replace with, and then now we have our replace blocks armor stand. We are going to place it right here. And as you can see, it starts turning the stone into acacia wood. And this is fully adjustable. All you have to do to increase the radius of this is just go over to one of the command blocks and change the fill command, which is somewhere around here. There it is. And you can set whatever coordinates you want. I don't mind. It doesn't stop there though. This can get a lot cooler. You can do this with entire structures, which is what makes it so unique from the fill command. Yes, we can replace stone with this exact structure here. Let's find out how. All we have to do is change a couple of parameters in this first clone command and this second clone command that we have here. As you can see, the potential for this is quite interesting. We've created a very unique structure just by accidentally putting in the wrong coordinates for the clone command. But there we go, we can create some amazing structures with this concept. And as you can see, if we put in the structure correctly, then you can see some of the potential that we have with this clone command feature. So wherever there is stone and there's a corner, there will also be a glowstone. So very powerful stuff if you know how to use it correctly. So here we have another cornerstone and it's chosen to place the glowstone in that position. As you can see, it's also chosen to place glowstone here because it's on the corner with this section and here because it's on the corner with this section. And for the sake of example, let's just do one more. Let's place some acacia here uh, so you can see exactly what is going on. So let's place one right here. And as you are about to witness, we can see some pretty cool patterns starting to emerge. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? Thanks to the use of the clone command, and we have this kind of hybrid fill clone command, which hasn't been possible in the past. Just check out some of the unique and awesome patterns that this thing is producing. Now I have to warn you that this will cause a lot of tick lag while it's in use, but once it hits bedrock, that tick lag will disappear instantly. And let's just take a moment to look at some of the amazing patterns this thing can make thanks to the clone command. So yes, I do agree this is quite fiddly, but once you know the potential of this, the potential is just endless and you can make really cool patterns naturally in the terrain. So how does it work? Well, from the armor stand that you place down, it is going to summon a bunch of always active command blocks, which are immediately going to be cleared by the new summon command, which is hidden inside them. And then these armor stands are going to teleport down, and once they reach the bottom of the world, they will kill themselves. Now, I am actually using the stats command and a combination of test four blocks in order to execute this clone command that we have. So the test for block sequence tests if the block at the bottom of the world is whatever block that you placed here, in this case stone. And then next up, it's going to, if that is true, it will do a clone command for whatever structure you build under here. Now, where are these structures actually going, you ask? Well, these armor stands are teleporting it down to the bottom of the earth at the zero, zero coordinates. So I have to stress to you guys that the only disadvantage of using this is that your spawn chunks must be at zero, zero in order for this to work. So as you can see, I built a structure right here under this armor stand and it is being cloned right down to the bottom of the world as you can see there. Whereas if I change the blocks right here, you will see that if I take another peek, that the structure at the bottom of the world has changed yet again. And of course, we are going to top it off with one final example. Let's build this kind of structure and see what amazing terrain we can produce. So let's grab our armor stands and we'll look for a nice spot where we can do this. So I need to also stress that if there are blocks in the way, then it will actually break the contraption for some of the armor stands, which you might want to use to your advantage. It's up to you. But in this case, we are just going to keep it nice and plain 
and we are going to watch as the terrain changes. Look at this. We've got a nice emerald lapis glowstone structure appearing right here, making awesome patterns in the terrain. So you could actually use this as like a custom floor generator. It can be used to mix and match the terrain if you want, which I think is awesome. Like you can imagine that this could be used to create ores or maybe even your own custom biomes, which is awesome. And as you can see, these patterns aren't just restricted to the top of the world. You can see that they are also awesome underground as well. Like you can come across crystalline structures in caves, which will be absolutely amazing in real life. So thank you everyone for watching this new concept. If you have any suggestions to improve on it before the release, then please leave them down in the comments below. But I also would like you to subscribe to Triash Star, my recommended new YouTuber for today. He has less than a thousand subscribers and I really want to change that because his concepts are amazing and very well showcased. They feel like natural extensions of the vanilla gameplay and they are very commonly suggested things like block breakers and also gunpowder trials, you name it, he's probably done it. So go over to his channel, see the amazing things he's created. But for now, thank you all everyone for watching this episode. I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care.